Muhammad Ali was a larger than life character and often called the most recognizable person on earth. So of course, that made him perfect for Hollywood. ABC's Chris Connolly takes a look at his influences on the big screen. I have wrestled with an alligator. I done tussled with a whale. I done handcuffed lightning, throw thunder in jail. Befitting his stature as the most significant political, social, and cultural figure ever produced by American sports. A towering figure of his time, who triumphed inside the ring and out. And the speed, talent, and grit, as well as his breathtaking charisma and character, that made him the greatest and the world's most famous human being. Everybody recognizes Ali. Muhammad Ali made frequent appearances in movies, both as the subject of documentaries like 1970's Muhammad Ali, a.k.a. Cassius Clay, capturing his early fights and his famously poetic predictions. The man to beat me hasn't been born yet. I'm the world's greatest. And in feature films, playing himself or portrayed by others. So what? I ain't got to be what nobody else want me to be. Will Smith would earn an Academy Award nomination for his work in the title role of Ali, the biopic that tries to get its arms around Ali's almost unimaginably turbulent life and times from 1964 to 1974. You want to send me to jail? Fine, you go right ahead. I've been in jail for 400 years. I could be there for four or five more. I think to capture the nuance of Ali, it's much harder to kind of reflect that. Will Smith and Ali would forge a strong personal connection. Smith helping the champ to make an unforgettable healing appearance days after 9-11 for the fundraising telethon America, a tribute to heroes. And if I had a chance, I'd do something about it. Earlier, Ali would play himself in a biopic, 1977's The Greatest. Ali would also be an obvious influence on the character of Apollo Creed. So they're making excuses so they don't have to be the chump to get whipped in front of the whole civilized world. Rival and later friend to Rocky Balboa in Sylvester Stallone's Rocky movies. I mean, Apollo Creed was Muhammad Ali. There's no doubt about it. Too fast! Yet it would be two documentary that would offer the richest insights into Ali's fascinating self. Released in 1998, When We Were Kings chronicles the weeks leading up to the rumble in the jungle, Ali's 1974 title fight in the nation of Zaire. So you really got a chance to appreciate who Muhammad Ali was when he wasn't always just playing to the camera. Chris Connolly, ABC News, Los Angeles. As we said before, you just can't take your eyes off the man. He was incredible. Joining us now is Craig Mortali, a good friend of Ali's who traveled with him for more than a decade. He also produced Outside the Lines, Muhammad Ali, still the greatest. Craig, thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. And first and foremost, you know, <clears throat> earlier in our show, we had that wonderful quote from Ali about how he wanted to be remembered and what was important. But what do you think, at the end of the day, was so important to him about his legacy? Well... I think he's just going to, I, I said last night on some of the shows, he's going to be seen as a man of courage. I mean, his legacy is in and out of the ring, a courageous person who stood up to the biggest bullies in boxing mm -hmm. and stood for his own beliefs and uh, religious, political, what have you. He, he, he just was a man of great courage. And I think a lot of young people, including myself, took from him the ability to stand up for what you believe in and, and not fear what other people think about uh, your, your beliefs and your stands. But in the ring, he was just an un unbelievable combination of power and speed. You know, at six foot three, 215 pounds, to, he had the, the, the elusiveness and the, the, the footwork of a, of a lightweight, but the power of a heavyweight. Uh, his favorite fighter was Sugar Ray Robinson, and he mirrored some of Sugar Ray's boxing technique, but in a large body, 6'3", 215, be able to pull that off. No one's ever really done it uh, since, and I think his boxing career will be singularly uh, identified as an original. A fitting tribute. Craig, thank you very much. So great to hear from somebody who's known him for so long. We really appreciate your analysis this morning. And coming up on GMA, when we return, much more on Muhammad Ali and the ad hoc comedy team of Ali and Howard Cosell. We're right back.